Uh, I've got no real acting talent, so I brought the payoff for the judges here. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't win fair, you cheat, I guess. Um, now that you're back, Talmud, you can have another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to reload. <laughs> First of all, I'll acknowledge that I took over just about a year ago uh, in uh, this program from Nina Gavian. She did a great job, and what I'll, some, of, some of what I'll talk about is what really she uh, did before she uh, retired to Italy. And uh, also to acknowledge the incredible staff support of, uh, of Georgina Lopez and uh, Teresa Moeller. Uh, a lot of times we kind of focus on ourselves, faculty, but the staff uh, are, are often uh, really key for getting any of this uh, done. Uh, the Global Health Program is unique uh, to the UCSF CTSI. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to stay the case because clearly when we look at what's happening, there is an absolutely incredible um, expansion of interest in global health. And I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the funding and the, the range of projects that, uh, that we see um, here in, um, in CTSI. Uh, the Global Health Program, as uh, this slide uh, says, I'm not sure if you can see it from the back, uh, but um, sh has done uh, a lot of work, and, and again, this is the work that was done before I joined through uh, something that has, I'm, I'm a fan of acronyms, uh, this is one of the worst, GRES, um, we're working on changing that, Global Research Enterprise Support, there has to be something better. Uh, but GRES, uh, under uh, CTSI, formed several working groups uh, that addressed issues of regulatory burdens, budgetary uh, issues affecting uh, global health research, and very importantly, travel, safety, uh, and health. Uh, many of our people are in rather unstable situations, and issues of evacuation, prophylaxis uh, uh, with antibiotics are really important. The website that was created uh, has begun to compile uh, the regulations, the advice, the experience, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that because that ends up being one of our uh, important goals uh, going forward. Uh, but uh, sharing information, which is so important uh, in an area that's growing so quickly. And this is just a couple screenshots. Uh, you can go on the website and, and see this. But uh, another uh, thing, if you could see this, that this would highlight is the very intimate relationship between the CTSI Global Health Program uh, and Global Health Sciences. Uh, it turns out in Global Health there is a really amazing proliferation of acronyms, organizations that often have the same people and the same staff. Uh, so one of the efforts, I think, is to harmonize this to some degree. Uh, and, and I'll tell you a little bit more, more about that uh, later as well. Uh, and uh, a number of issues that were raised by the work groups, and I'll tell you about our, our efforts to actually have uh, uh, success in resolving some of the concerns that have been raised. One of the things that was uh, uh, very important uh, in, the, in the past and continuing is to develop a better database. It turns out that before CTSI Global Health was funded in 2007, uh, there was really no way to search the database of UCSF investigators or grants to know which ones were being conducted abroad. Uh, so uh, there is now a very active database, very searchable, and I'll show you just a screenshot of it, but just at the bottom of this uh, slide, uh, you see that UCSF has over 3,000 uh, funded projects, 600 UCSF investigators working in 100 uh, plus countries, uh, and the, the total grants and direct costs are over $80 million uh, a year. And again, screenshots of the database. Uh, you can, uh, it's a, a heat map, so you can uh, click on a site, see who's there, uh, and the rest. So one more minute. Uh, focus on faculty needs. This is what we're really trying to do now. We started another acronym called the International Research Advisory Council, IRAC. Uh, we're open to suggestions uh, for a better acronym. <laughs> Uh, and our goal is to build the uh, community connections, to create linkages between projects, to break down barriers. I thought uh, we were getting out of Iraq. The global research is very siloed, uh, almost by nature, and so we're really trying uh, our best to find ways to, uh, to correct that. Uh, we've come up with real solutions. I'm going to skip this one, uh, this one of Grant Dorsey's. Uh, yeah. uh, and in the next steps, um, we're going to try to link the databases more effectively with profiles so that the profiles is, is more richly uh, reflecting of the global health enterprise. 
uh, expand Iraq, providing a safe space for, for investigators on the ground to share ideas, to share problems, to use social networking tools uh, to help do that, to create uh, more of a, a, of a legacy of, of, of these uh, solutions, and to provide direct administrative support for scholars. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Great presentation. Sam, you want to start off the... Yeah. Paul, um, one of the, the uh, issues in global health frequently is that uh, a lot of different organizations, a lot of different universities are in the same countries, often doing yeah, the same yeah. things, but not particularly well coordinated. We, we, we now all five... The same universities in some sites aren't very well coordinated. Right. We, we all five UC campuses are now uh, have CTSAs. And I'm wondering what efforts, uh, if any, are underway to, uh, particularly in, in our global health efforts, uh, coordinate at, at least across the UCs or perhaps across larger networks. But what, what are we doing in that area? To try well, to we're, I think we're really just starting is the, is the answer. But one of the ideas is to create um, uh, 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 offices in foreign countries where our investigators and perhaps others are, uh, from other UCs are very active. Um, and this is being coordinated through the Office of the President. So that, that's, that's one way that we could begin to do that. Uh, so, and, and a lot of the UC, uh, obviously the, the policies are largely the same across the campuses. And so the, the challenges that we face are the same ones that somebody from San Diego would face. And so I think this might be a very uh, productive area to, uh, in which to move. Yeah. Great. Talmadge? I don't have any. Nothing. Ooh. <laughs> David? Just thinking uh, across the different parts. So we've got some domestic work. We've got the global work. Is there any thought about putting those kinds of databases together to leverage into uh, immigrant uh, air bridge kinds of studies? Yeah. Um, San Diego probably has the, had the most organized approach to that and thinking of the, the cross-border issues yeah. as part of their global health um, uh, enterprise enterprise, if you will, um, and I think that's a, that's a good model for us. Jeff, uh, in, in some of the earlier discussions that we've had, uh, talks about uh, the, the issues of disparity and access uh, being, at some levels, comparable here in San Francisco and certainly between another Bay Area community. So I think there are lessons that we can, that we can share along those lines, for sure. Just thinking, for example, if you have Asian populations here in yeah. Asia where you've got projects going and then people moving back and forth, you know, how that leverages into a new kind of study. Yeah, I, I don't know the data exactly, but we're, we're deeper for some reason in Africa than we are in Asia uh, as, a, as a university global health program. But I think to the degree we are in, in countries where there is movement back and forth, I think that would be uh, ideal. Yeah. I mean, the term that we've used in the department, Paul and I have, and Neil Paul, uh, is local global. Um, part of it is, part of, part of what is interesting to me is that many of the things that Paul and others have learned from their international work actually applies three blocks down the street. And, and, and that if we could figure out a way to implement those things here, uh, we could actually improve our own health care system. So the yeah, question yeah. is, how do we bring them back? And well, one of the... You know, we haven't really sufficiently dug into this, but CTSI has a very active implementation science program. Uh, implementation science is hugely important as we try to uh, uh, do more capacity building in, in African countries, but again, it's just as relevant here. Uh, so I, I think that's a good point. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Yep.